And we've seen Bad Intent playing Charlotte and a Biken so far. Um, I don't know how much experience Blue has against the Biken. But this is a winner's final set, three out of five. Winner will advance to grand finals to await the uh, further results. And I'm curious what Bad Intent will lock in against the Earthquake. So it seems like Bad Intent has, you know, they like to play counter pick, or at least, uh, at least they have a couple characters they're comfortable with. I'm curious what they would like against the Earthquake. I feel like Charlotte would be the move against the Earthquake, but Biken is extremely powerful character. So uh, I'm interested to see what the choices are. All right, character select, here we go. Charlotte is being hovered. Blue opting for the Earthquake, yep, and Charlotte, yep, yep. So I mentioned the DP being potentially very powerful against the Earthquake, right? But you, the thing with Charlotte is her DP does not go that far forward. So Bad Intent needs to play a careful spacing game to try to DP Earthquake out of the air movement. You need to be at the right ranges. Charlotte's DP, not not like Gendro, where you'll be going all horizontal. Not like Kalmaru, where you could do the running DP to go the whole screen. Right, Charlotte's DP, very vertical. But Charlotte is one of the most conniving and controlling characters in the game. She is just Mrs. Solid. All right, pokes him with the low pokes early on. Let's see if we can get some recoil cancel action going on. Jump heavy, nice jump in here from Blue Thunder. Nice use of the Violet Slash. The long range. Excellent air-to-air -air timing there for Blue Thunder. Getting a high advantage over Charlotte to clip with the Jump Heavy Slash. Pretty even game so far, though. Nice kick normals. Charlotte's kick normals are ridiculous. Hop dash forward, yep, with that kick. Throw into the Heavy Slash. No knockdown, though. Blue content to feel it out. Air-to-air -air that time goes to Bad Intent. Good timing. Jump light. Blue gets it there. Life advantage still for Bad Intent. Rage in play for both players, but it's about to run out for Earthquake. Jump heavy. Excellent timing here for Bad Intent. Still pretty even game, slight health advantage here. Oh, look for the read on the jump out. But it's locked. No full punish though. We got the hit, but, but again, evades the second hit. Not able to punish in time. And there it is, the rising jump A. Jump light. Bad Intent first round on the board. Pretty evenly matched so far, though. No one's taken a huge risk and died for it yet. Nice. Air to air, though, from Bad Intent. Bad Intent starting to find the, the normals that defeat Earthquake in the air to air situation. Gets him with the low. Will we see a command grab? We see jump back heavy slash. But whiffs. Not a big punish, but it's something. Clean jump in from Charlotte. Ops for the back dash on the landing frames. A little too far for the grab. Gets the running heavy. That's a little bit of damage. Empty jump grab, weapon flipping technique. Very nice. So this will disarm Charlotte. This is a good way to turn the round around. Charlotte opts to roll away from her weapon. Oh, able to get it, but eats a throw for their trouble. Gets the sword back. So that's a decent reward for Blue Thunder with the disarm. Has a life advantage. Pretty big life advantage still, but weapon flipping technique is available for Charlotte for about th four more seconds. Blue Thunder survives the rage. Disarm no longer in play, but we got the slide into the knockdown. Jump back. Empty throw, heavy slash, not quite enough to kill. Looking for something, DP baited. Very nice. From Blue Thunder, one round apiece. We got ourselves to get a match. 5K comes out. Bad intent, trying to feel it out. Both players still trying to find the solutions for each other. Oh, those quicker buttons there. Oh, but the slide connects at max range. But. Very nice timing there for Blue Thunder. Overhead on the opposite side. Back dash, looking for maybe a DP. Charlotte in Rage. Ooh, big block there. No recoil choice from Blue Thunder. I like it. Earthquake not. Not a big recoil cancel character. Doesn't really like to gamble with those options. Slide comes in. Excellent evasion here from Blue Thunder, trying to time it out. Bad attempt working towards the corner though. This could be big, all baits the butt, but no punish. Air to air. So we're taking little hits. Nice timing of the fireball. Pretty even on life. We look for something there, didn't get it. Weapon movement technique is spent. Will we see the back dash at the end? No, we get the full jump in, nothing. And then we get the full subversion frame trapped off the jump in into the down heavy. So still very even game. Critical damage could happen at any point. 15 seconds on the clock. 
slight life advantage to Earthquake. Not anymore. What's the mix-up? Blue Thunder rolls away. Oh, empty jump, command grab. Gets the punish. Here we go, 10 seconds. Blue Thunder battle life deficit now. Use by something off for the teleport. Five seconds remain. Looks for the butt. And there it is. Nice poke. Bad intent stays solid in the late timing scenario. Forces Blue Thunder to go for some shenanigans. One game up for bad intent. Very close. That really came down to that one hit right there at the end of the DP. Very nice. Pretty even match so far. Empty throw. Very nice. Slide, max range. Earthquake a big boy. Gotta be ready for that, that spacing. Didn't block all the hits. Auto guard always looming. Charlotte trying to use that kick move to move, move around. Using the great mobility she gets from that. Wanting to control this corner of Blue Thunder fighting out. Wants his real estate back. Trades. Blue Thunder very content with that. Getting spacing back. Kick hits on the late active frames. Tech rolls backwards. Bad intent. Back to the middle of the screen. Runs underneath. Thrown for her trouble. Charlotte. Life advantage here for Blue Thunder. And that five heavy again, tipping him. Oh no, but the tri slash connects Blue Thunder out the sky. Neutral jump, I love that cross up butt. That's a big risk, but it's a statement, right? It's no, 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 no. Not like this, no corner for you, no corner for you. Oh, butt spent. Okay, we got the down medium, but no conversion on the punish. Gotta have your butt punishes locked and loaded, gotta believe in it. Tri slash comes out, nice whip punish there on the five heavy slash. Bad intent, finding the spacing maybe. Weapon yeah. technique is mashed. Forced to block the whole thing. Jumping. Ah, does not get the full punish off the jump. Bad intent seems to be aware of, of how to do like a perfect punish there. So can't get it off the jump. And it's very difficult to time those kind of punishes in this game. Nice challenge after the jump heavy slash from Earthquake. Air to air. So bad intent, very much in control of this round right now. But this is Samurai Showdown. Anything could happen. Waiting it out. Bad intent, working slow. Nice angle there from Blue Thunder. Gets, getting some life on the board. Trying to slowly work their way back in. Violet slash whiffs. Charlotte in rage. Earthquake close to rage. A weapon flipping technique from Earthquake could be huge right now. Gets the guard crush, but too far to really capitalize. Couple air to air hits go to Charlotte. Uh oh, uh oh. Almost equal game. Earthquake and rage, 18 seconds remain. Slide connects. What's the mix up? Tech rolls forward from Blue Thunder. Nice escape. Five heavy connects. Forces the rage. Blue Thunder presses again. I love it. Not afraid. Two rounds clean. Not afraid. I no scare. I know scare, says Blue Thunder. The rage burst, you know, it doesn't it doesn't shove him back, right? Earthquake is too far away to get hit by the effect. So if you just whiff it, he's swinging it back in. Nice universal overhead there. Teleport OS blocked this. Oh, that could have been a huge punish, but Bad Attack actually got the running normal, not ready for the conversion. Okay, nice dead angle out. I like it. Air to air. Blue Thunder looking clean right now. Jump heavy slash. Ooh, empty throw. Charlotte in rage, but huge life advantage here for Blue Thunder. Slide whiffs that time. Gets the little jump jab poke. Blue Thunder with a smart butt to whiff punish the normal. Taking what you can get. It's a big part of this game. Grabs early. Bad intent did not wake up with the roll. Did not give up throw invincibility. Weapon flipping technique is spent. Blue Thunder has to work without it. Teleport, option select. Uh-oh. Sword is off the screen. Yes. Excellent control there from Bad Intent. That webbing flipping technique was huge. Yeah, blue a little early with the throw there. You don't tech roll. Oh, confirm? No, a hit out of the sky. Gets the punish that time? No, now does not get the full punish that time. Maybe we could get a jump in, just confirm it to the DP like right away without the landing normal. Jump ins do special cancel when you do them as a jump in. Into grounded special moves. Slide at max range, Charlotte and Rage. Blue Thunder looking for something. That was a weird crossing situation. Rage is ticking. Four players bloodied up, beaten and bloody. Rage gone for a Charlotte. Nice jump heavy slash from Earthquake. Both players would love to be up two to one right now. Defensive throw from Blue Thunder, very much like that. Charlotte on life support. Try slash comes out and the heavy pokes are out the sky. One round apiece in this one one set. SSDM available for both players. Overhead connects. Nice butt there to deal with the roll forward. Jump heavy slash at max range. I love the ranges that Thunder is playing right now. Charlotte has a, or Bad Intent has a good game plan, but like missing a couple key punishes, missing a couple key damage situations, especially against a character like Earthquake, who's surprisingly slippery for a big body. Doesn't go for any sort of violent slash after the no recoil. 
right? You gotta be ready when people do not recoil cancel. Empty jump command grab. Uh oh. That's scary. Now you gotta think about it. Battle 10 has to think about that now. Overhead on the, on the roll forward. Oh, and then backs up. Watch this control of the screen. Okay, here we go. Blocking the heavy slashes. But Battle 10 was gonna take advantage for it with a big teleport forward. Weapon will be technique is available. Okay, gone. Charlotte now enraged. Weapon will be technique could be her ticket back into the ground for Charlotte, for bad intent. He needs to find something, some kind of option. Because right now, Blue Thunder is just going to sit here and poke you forever with the jump heavy slashes. He'll do it for another 15 seconds. He'll do it till the time runs out. What are you going to do? Rage gone for Charlotte. Has to do a lot of damage. Not a lot of time to do it. Blue Thunder waits. Overhead connects, but that's not much damage. Does not auto guard all the hits of the butt. Rage spent stops the clock. Isen is available. Blue presses the button, brave. Scary, so scary right now. Trying to bait the Isen, catches him. Blue Thunder says, I no scare. I am not afraid of your activation. I am not afraid of Isen. I will swing at you. You run a little too close, you get clipped. Right, because you know, Bad Intense trying to make him bite, trying to make him panic. Goes to character select. Interesting decision. This is a three out of five set. Blue Thunder is up two to one. Bad intent has been very strong in the neutral game. What is the option? Bacon. Opting for the bacon. Now the, the claws. Bacon does have the claw that goes up at a 45 degree angle. That could be very powerful against the, ang the, the, the angles of approach that Earthquake likes to utilize with the jump heavy slash. So we shall see what the response is. How does bad intent adjust? Bad intent looking, looking meditative right now. Trying to dig deep, trying to find a way. Blue looking poised to go to grand finals if he can close this one out. All right, big jump in early. Blue changing his timing immediately. Nice confirm into the jump dust. But, ah, Blue connects with the jump heavy slash. Recoil, nothing, and nothing off the recoil. Yep, nothing off the recoil again. Neither player really opting for it except for the one time Blue teleported forward which is really all it took. Oh, big whiff on that heavy slash, but no punish. Big life advantage here for Blue Thunder, about 50%, but bad intent trying to claw their way back into it. Five heavy slash, no recoil though. No check afterwards. Down heavy catches the run up. Very nice timing, utilizing the low. Quick with the air to airs. And the jump command grab. Punishes the Tatami, but no juggle combo. But yes, notice the whiff, calls the butt. Huge life advantage of Blue Thunder. Wait, you have the confidence to stand there? Sick. Look at him, he's just standing there menacingly. And then the butt comes down on the bad intent, trying to run up and force the throw. Blue exerting the aura right now, the aura. Weapon of living technique available for Earthquake. There's the Azami DP, very nice. Looking for empty jump grab. Yeah, definitely wanted the weapon from taking there. Juggle combo, good damage here for the Biken, for bad intent. Not blocking all the hits of the overhead though. Auto guard, you have to remember. Oh, Weapon Flipping Technique has the frame trap, but yeah, Biken responds with quick normal. Blue overextending a bit this round. Command grab er, was spot dodged. Very nice from Bad Pit. Big life advantage here for the Biken. Nice of age. Yeah, Blue very much overextending that round. We'll see if there's an adjustment. He maybe was feeling the blood in the water, but Bad Intent remains solid. Okay. Opting with some quick check normals to try to reset the pace. That, have, that, 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 that low for Biken, so powerful. Empty jump command grab from Blue. It has not landed yet in the last couple of tries. Could that be a factor? Air to air this time goes to bad attack. Jump heavies come out. Blocks from Blue Thunder. Oh, we went for the confirm. Spends the webbing flipping technique. Gets the clean jump in. Blue escapes. Still life advantage for bad attack off the jump dust. Roll forward. Blue rage is spent. It is gone. Bad Intent playing a new range game here. Oh, that's traded. Uh-oh. Huge life advantage here. Oh, but a couple couple clutch normals with Blue Thunder. Keep a minute. SSVM does not connect in time. Bad Intent makes it two games apiece. Blue Thunder shakes his head. Definitely big adjustments, right? Was overextending a little bit there in, in, the, in the second round. And then Bad Intent really capitalized. Blue Thunder headed his hands, rubbing his hands together. Now he needs to do a little soul searching of what the response is, right? Good timings here from Bad Intent. Oh, look for the jump jab. 
That jump dust conversion off the air to air is so huge your bike can butt connects. Nice low. Corner control here for Blue Thunder. No critical damage as of yet. Nice check. Jump in was very hot. That low is so good. It's like Earthquake's low. It's very powerful. Air to air this time for Blue Thunder. There is the parry. Lycan's noted guard cancels. Nice evade over the chain. Pretty even situation so far. Force the block, looks to the butt, gets a little baby punish. And, oh, nice combo jump there, but not able to get the full punish. Mm, looking for that uh, horizontal chain that time. Will we see a teleport come out? Air to air this time, bad intent, finding the timing and the spacing. But, was punished there on the butt. Weapon movie technique is available for Blue Thunder. Looks for something, doesn't get it. Viking not, not very big, right? Able to evade the normals pretty well right now. Rage is gone. Butt is spent. Excellent timing here in Bad Intent. Air to air for Blue Thunder. There's a throw. Heavy slash. Life advantage here, though, for Bad Intent. Teleport blocked. No big punish, though. And that air to air situation goes to Bad Intent. Big adjustments happening with the Viking. Still anyone's game. Rage is available for, Bat er, for Viking. Jump in high. Nice challenge there from Blue Thunder. Getting a couple normals to connect. Maybe finding the buttons. Overhead comes out. Back dashes. Waits for something. A zombie DP. Are we going to see Yozansen? No. Waiting it out. High hit. Oh, scary. Scary risk with the butt. Scary risk. Oh, that made a whiff. It's fine, though. Blue got the throw. Content with that. Jump heavy. Again. Nice angle there, but Viking evades it somehow. I thought that was going to hit her. Okay, nice timing there for Blue Thunder. Down heavy. Excellent challenge. We all want to see a recoil cancel, maybe. We'll rage and play for both players. Next hit could be huge. The DP still connects. That was so far away. Air to air. Into the jump dust. Because the fact that knocked down is crazy. Overhead comes out. Blue Thunder jumps away. Weapon flipping yeah. technique. Punish. No, that's not able to complete it. Blue Thunder on Magic Crystal. And whiffs the grab. Bad intent with the huge adjustment. Takes it. Ooh, that was scary, scary set. And that bad intent will move on to grand finals. Blue Thunder is uh, heading down to the lower bracket, awaiting in losers finals for whoever else will get there. So Blue Thunder at least guaranteed top three. Bad intent guaranteed at least a grand finals trip. And we'll have to see what the next match on deck is. I see people uh, standing up by the setup. I am being waved at. Uh, uh, Get in here. I've been doing it solo. I got to use the help. <laughs> I am being joined by Excruciation, tournament runner extraordinaire. Uh, try to be. <laughs> try to be. If you're here on Friday, you might argue the opposite. But <laughs> I was here on Friday. Oh, well, very, oh yeah, you were. You were yeah. doing all the commentary and stuff. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> how's, your, how's your winter showdown been, man? Busy. Busy. <laughs> Good busy or tiring busy? Uh, or I'm both? pretty tired today. Yeah. And some of that's because, uh, you know, when we do these tournaments here, I drink a lot of beer while commentating. <laughs> fair, fair. And, uh, that sounds you know, like the vibe. I'm not yeah, a couple days of that, you just get tired. <laughs> um, you know, I'm um, not as young as I used to be. So, you know, you wake up and you're drinking a bunch of beer and you're like, oh, I'm tired. Oh. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I got my... uh you my hook up the IV, man, so you get those... No, I mean, that's back. what that big-ass water bottle's for. Oh, there you go. How and is. then this is... That's throat-soothing beverage. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, you Andy Serkis... You prepared, Sir man. You know, Andy Serkis, the guy who voices Gollum, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is something that he did when he was voicing Gollum. He drank that stuff. Oh, wow. I saw. I found the recipe. I made it. Nice. And so far, it's been working, right? It's Sunday. Normally, my voice is already going. Oh, yeah. 100%. And I, I, I... It's not... My voice is not dead yet. Nice. I've, got, awesome. I've still got some juice, some golem juice left. There you go. There and you go. Uh, so hopefully we can, you know, after this, eat some food and then do King of Fighters. There you go. Yeah. The key is going to be, though, I mean, King of Fighters will start right after this. So I'm like, somebody's got to do something while I eat. Because I am I won't make it if I don't get to eat before King of Fighters. I'll that's, die. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> we'll get you taken care of. Yeah, yep. So we got Viet Lu coming in against uh, the Warden player, GD Cross. Yeah, this will be an interesting matchup. I imagine Viet Lu is going to be ready for this and know what to expect. But uh, Warden, not a popular character. 
No, I mean, he's kind of simple, but kind of not. Yeah. Like, he's, like, seemingly simple, but he, he basically, if you haven't played For Honor, he, like, literally is playing For Honor. <laughs> yeah. With, like, the way his, like, his bull rush charge works. Yeah. And his risk reward off of a lot of those options is insane. Yeah, um, and then the, out of the charge, he has that overhead, right? The third hit or the second hit of being the overhead. Yeah. And a lot of people have not been ready for that. Yeah, and the, I feel like the frame traps, unless you've fought a warden a lot, they're going to catch you a lot in these weird situations where you think he's minus, but, but really he's just setting there. you up. Yeah, yeah, it's a second hit because, you know, that's what he gets it for honor. Yep. <laughs> All right, nice jumping. And the only other time we saw Viet Lu on stream was against uh, Bad Intent. Yeah. Viet Lu was not able to get anything going against Bad Intent. And, and I believe they won AFK Kong, right, Viet Lu? Viet Lu won AFK Kong. Yeah, against I want to say he got top nine or top 16 at uh, Frosty Fossils? Frosty Fossils? Like okay. He, did, he had a respectable was, show. Was Bad Intent also president of the Frosty Fossils uh, tournament? Frosty Fossils, he got 33rd, I believe. He went three and two. Okay. Um, so I knew he coming into it, he was going to be a strong player, but I didn't quite know how strong he was Yeah, because be. he kind of destroyed Viet Lu. Yeah. Like, like wrecked him. Like Viet Lu got nothing going. He literally just stonewalled the Charlotte for like five rounds or four rounds. Yeah, I, b I believe it. Bad intent. I've, I've seen a couple of his games off stream, and uh, it's impressive what he's doing. Yeah, with his, the his set with Blue Thunder was extremely close. Yeah. Could have went either way and had to pull out the bike in to try to clutch it out, right? Yeah. And it worked oh. out for him. Yeah, big, big, big blocks there, but no recoil cancels, right? We haven't really seen people be spending any recoil cancels at all on, on stream. Yeah, I feel like unless you have a particular setup you're trying to or, go or for. Or a character that has good recoil cancels, but. Yeah. You're not you know, sometimes see it too you gotta much. do it, you gotta sometimes cash it. Yeah. Nice block. Nice confirm here. Via Lu making a statement, trying to get back into our top four here to get maybe the run back against Bad and Sound. Yep, yep. Yeah, and it would need to find something against that because it looked they looked like they were just outclassed in every way in, in the in the winners match. Yeah. I will say he has a very deep character pool. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to counter pick at some point. Yeah, and then you know, often for the Shiki against Pat and Tent the whole time. Yeah. All right, game nice one going to Viet that, that little like run there before the normal came out, and that's how you ice them, right? Yeah, 100%. Make them ready for the running attack, and then when you don't do it, and they go to then challenge, they go to, they go to challenge like you a jab, you blow them up. Yep. Yep. Okay, nice. Nice little like, I love the movement, right? The little run stops. He didn't go for the second hit of the record. Though. I think he was trying to go for a reset, but yeah. Cross was ready for it. Yeah, it's ready to escape. <laughs> Okay. Nice normal. So so far, Viet Lu just playing it, feeling it out, trying to find the ranges. Yeah, he's playing it extremely so slow. Challenge and cross to come up with some answer to get in. Here. Nice, excellent pressure there, using the jabs and the delay timings. But the armor, Ooh, that's a full punish. Okay, oh, yeah, smart does the DP. Does not want to deal with that third hit. Does yeah, not want to yeah. deal. All right, nice DP. Rage and play, nice. Catching him with the with the running attack that auto corrects when people attack both. I'm, I'm really impressed right now with Vialu's yeah. ability to just completely change momentum. Like, look at this—he's just completely backing off yeah. after getting a in massive and out, life in lead. and out, in and out, right? Yeah. Playing play. a very solid game plan. Yeah, yeah, and we didn't really get to see this against the, the set with bad intent, right? Because he just really felt like bad, Vialu was just boxed out of everything. Yeah. And, and now he's doing the one doing the boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, actually being a boxer instead of boxing them out, right? Yeah. Because it's all about the in and out, in and out, in and out. That was an interesting jump over there. Yeah, I think it was like, oh, this is weird. I'm getting out. <laughs> yeah. Run underneath, very nice. That's very like an SNK thing, running under the jump like that. Yeah. Good punish off of this too. Nice low. Ooh, nice timing. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, nice throw. Yeah, badly spaced jump. Oh, I love that cancel. That was sweet. Yep, this is what I love to see. And then the overhead of the frame oh. trap. Can't challenge there. Finally seeing some momentum from Cross, but can he keep it going? It's hard, though, in this game. Oh, big of eight. Big punish. Oh. No, 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 no. Viet Lu's like, you fooled me once, but you not fooled me twice. Yeah. Nice spacing on the cross up. Yeah, Cross not ready for it. Gets out of that situation, though. Oh, Ooh. excellent timing there on the faint. Yeah, Cross finally getting around, starting to come alive in the set. Mm -hmm. Now, this one is still a two out of three. Yeah, you can, okay. You can, no room for error in this last round. Correct. Rage is in play, but ending very quickly for the warden. Rage off the table. Nice timing, nice punish. Yeah. Yeah, Viet Lu's movement is just really clean right now. Yeah, and I feel like Warden kind of struggles. Like, he really has to whiff punish, but uh, Cross is just off a little bit on all of his timings. Yeah, and, and Shiki. 
you know, it, because of like the movement, right? It just makes it really, really hard to whip punish. Yeah, absolutely. And, and when Shiki is whipping, it's with like a jab, which is like really hard to whip punish, right? Yeah. Without I'm taking a big risk. Trades. One, one thing I wish I would see from Cross is more use of the parry, especially in these scramble situations. Be at least throwing out a lot of buttons, and Cross <laughs> could get some momentum off of that. Oh yeah, because Warden's parry is more universal. Yep. One oh. technique blocked. Oh, uh, that's gonna be it. Yep, yep. And Vietlu takes it, moves on. And I saw that side from Vietlu. I felt that side so many times in my soul. No matter how much you win by against Warden. You're, like, you're gonna have a heart attack at any moment. Cause the damage is just insane. I mean, that's just the game though. <laughs> well, yeah, but Warden, it's, it's a special case, I must say. <laughs> Listen, good, good stuff yeah, from Vietlu. You ever Bielu, thought of Sugetsu yeah. where like, he just puts the bubble out and you're like, well, I guess my life is over. You know what's funny? I've never actually seen a Sugetsu, and okay, I was so at since Frosty. It got, since it got rolled back, I, I like warmed up the Sugetsu while I like, went through and remembered a bunch of the setups and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, this character's dumb. <laughs> yeah. I read how great this guy is. Like He like bounces you off the wall, he's like, let me put this bubble wherever I want while you're bouncing off a wall. It's yeah. great. It's a good time. He's a good time. Yeah, I watched I watched a set uh, of a Sugetsu playing against a, I want to say a Hanzo or a Galford, and it was just... Hey, it was mind-boggling. I, mind I what think the ninjas have it rough in this current version, man. Yeah. They used to have like teleport options, like crazy teleport option selects that all got taken out of the game. Yeah. Like Galford yeah. used to basically be like an option select where like if Poppy hits you, it would combo. If you blocked Poppy, he would get a command grab. And if you blocked Poppy and escape and like jump back, mm -hmm. the command grab wouldn't come out and he would anti it. Oh. So it literally wow. was like an unescapable OS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really messed up. Yeah, that's, um, that's, that's but wild. it was very overshadowed by Gendro in that version because yeah. Gendro was like so easy. And that Galford stuff was really, really, oh, really yeah. precise, right? Because Galford's one of the. All right, so now we have Silver Tabby versus Viet Lu. Um, this will be uh, uh, to qualify into Losers Finals. Viet Lu wants the run back. Uh, would love to face Blue Thunder again. They had a, they had a nice grand finals at a winter showdown. And uh, Tabby playing the Go Sung Lee, the uh, the uh, mobile game, the gotcha game character. Indeed. With her umbrella. And he's got some good spacing with this character. He's really able to uh, abuse her really good buttons. Yeah, we oh. saw kind of the start of it w in in Tabby's set with uh, Bad Intent. Where it's like, okay, I started to get set up, but then Viking was just like, no, thank you. <laughs> Viking, very powerful. Oh, insane. My opinion, like, the best character in the game. Probably, yeah. The options that she has in this game is just, I mean, she's a Guilty Gear character in Sam Show. Yeah, and, she, and you can feel that the, when you play Yeah, the fact her. that she gets that air juggle in her, it's her jump dust in Guilty Gear. Um, yeah. It's insane, because it gives you a knockdown, right? Yeah. It's so good. And uh, that, that, low, that low attack that she has, that, that doesn't recoil. Yeah. That move is ridiculous. Oh, Guard Crush. Nice. Yep, there it is. First round going to Silver Tabby. It looked like it could go either way there, and then he kind of just lucked out with the uh, Guard Crush. That's a lot of Sam Shell rounds. Yeah, bro. Sure that. Weapon flipping technique spent. Very nice. What are we trying to get off this disarm? Nice throw. Ooh. And throws her away from her weapon. Yeah, it's very important, especially in this. Uh, Matchup, nice buttons, she nice timing. Still ends up paying for the extra hit for it, right? To get the sword back. I think usually it's worth it to take one extra hit just to Correct. get your weapon. Correct, yep, yep. But that damage does add up, right? Sure. And Viet Lu just content to wait. Yeah, he's like, you gotta come to me, man. I got twice your health. Yeah, he'll all down back for the next, like, 40 seconds. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> the rounds are short in Sam Show, even though they feel like five minutes. Yeah, and, you know, ooh, that could have been a huge confirm. Um, the fireball chip from, from Go Song Lee, not very high, right? So you can block a lot of fireballs. Oh, you know, yeah. it's not like blocking Hanzo fireballs where it does hurt when you block them. Yeah. All right, throw. Oh, nice throw. Under the knockdown. Oh, just mistimed the punish there on yep, the attack. Yep. Nice. But Go Song Lee without access. Wait, is that is that her rage, the flower thing? No, uh, no. So her fireball has a kind of a gimmick to it. Once you hit it three times, the next fireball that connects, um, it deals a bunch of extra damage and it gets you a hard uh, knockdown from the explosion. Okay, yeah. I just have not seen this character very much. She's uh, weird. She's very weird. The thing that frustrates me the most about this character is all of her buttons seem like they should be way minus, and like the only thing you can punch them with is like lights and medium. I mean, um, or a throw. That's kind of true for some characters. I mean, I don't know. It really depends. Well, even just her heavies, like that move right there. Does it not re recoil? Well, he can recoil cancel it into his charge. 
and then the, the charge, you would assume. Uh oh, Clash. Ooh. Who mashes harder? The one with the stick always does, right? <laughs> yeah, I guess it is hard to mash when you got the pad, right? Yeah. Nice. First round going to be a Lou. Yeah, yeah. When, you know, like, you know, like, look at like a, like a, a Genjiro, right? The heavy slash. He can frame trap you afterwards on the recoil, right? Oh. It's a lot of characters that can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find always deep, well, not always, but DP can always be a fun uh, recoil. Well, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, Genjiro uses the DP. He goes, so yeah, the best, right? Yeah. Uh, so Getsu, he does the pillar, right? And the pillar's really good, uh, especially if you space it. Use the right pillar at the right spacing. Ooh, nice throw with the conversion. Mm -hmm. Via mm, Looking for the timing there to catch the roll. Yeah, it didn't look like he was ready for the forward attack, but... Still had a plan, at least. Yeah, still kind of hitting this just like hit-and-run technique, and it's working well for him so far. Yeah, it's very good, Mashiki. I think the hit-and-run style is very powerful. Very deceptive with their movement, right? Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. Silver Tabby trying to find something. Currently working towards the corner. Nice little running A check. Nice. Ooh, big hit from Tabby there. Mm -hmm. uh oh Ooh. Just barely not able to confirm that uh, jump. In. Yep, yep. Okay, running attack. Nice check back. Rage in play. Ooh, weapon wizard technique. No, opt not to spend the weapon wizard technique. Tabby runs pretty far forward, though. Tabby's still aiming to go in, even when he's got the life lead here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I respect it. It is his style, but... It, Hopefully just, it doesn't backfire I, on it. I think it was very interesting to just not use the webbing flipping technique on the confirm, right? It's usually better damage, yeah. and you can create the disarm situation. But overextension from Viet Lu. Yeah, Tabby was able to block the Raka and get a full you punish. Yup, yup. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, excellent time, DP. Yeah, Viet Lu ready for these anti airs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, good anti air as a response from Tabby, right? Jumping over the fireball. Her fireballs recover really quick. Okay, the down heavy trades. She took more damage there, but at least got the knockdown. Yeah. Not able to get much off of it, though. Just kind of resets the neutral. <laughs> oh, I really like this game plan for Tabby now. Throw out the fireball and then... Oh, guard crush. Ooh, that's big damage. Yeah, nice with the heavy slash. This is a lot. Yeah, one more hit. Nice overhead block. Do it if he can land it. But then as I say that... Yeah, he blocks the overhead, the right? Gets the punish. Yeah. Rage almost available. Oh, no, Shiki may not even get it. Uh, Ghost Song Lee should get it. Yep. Oh, that was huge. Activates. Oh. That's a scary activation throw. First, first, first. And then, uh, well. Yep, okay. Oh, okay, now we burst. I respect that. I respect that. I don't know, though, because if you died, you still got another round, right? Yeah, that's it. So that's now it. Tabby has no rage going into the final round. So if you had just taken it and died, you would be going into the final round with a rage still available. True. True. Right, a lot of people, they spend, I feel like they spend it too quickly. But one of my favorite lines to say in this game is we're going to have nothing but honest footsies, good old Sam Show, the way SNK Listen, intended, it, no it, supers in rage. Five, in Sam Show 5 special, <laughs> at the beginning of the round, it says fair and square. And <laughs> oh, if there players you go. don't yep. have rage, now we are quote unquote fair and square. We got it here. But usually if you're up around, I want to keep my cheese. I want to keep my bullshit. Yeah, 100%. So like, you know, that's a, that was aggressive rage burst from Tabby, right? Like I, yeah, I, I mean, if they had gotten the round, then they'd be a genius. But yeah, right. <laughs> He's either the smartest man in the world or the stupidest, depending yeah, on how things play really out. Yeah, and it really just very risky. See, look at this. Yeah, now we don't have rage to get out. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Viet Lu takes it. Viet Lu, I mean, he's playing incredible right now, but every time we go to see him, he just looks exhausted. <laughs> well, I mean, this game is, can be exhausting, especially playing a character like Shiki, who just, she bleeds. Oh, 100%. Right, she's a bleeder, like, you know. Blue always looks so comfortable because Earthquake got all that armor. He's ready to go, yep. right? Blue looking comfortable. And that's not a it, shot against playing the beefy boy characters, but I understand the stress that comes with playing a squishy character. Oh, in this absolutely. Game. I mean, and Shiki's a little bit more technical than your average character correct, in the same show. You have actual links yeah. and combos I mean, and stuff. I used to play, when, I, when this game first came out, I was playing Nakaruru, so I, oh. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so I guess he wasn't in the game yet. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. he's something else. When the game first came out, I was an uh, eternal state of character crisis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And for whatever reason, Nakaruru was my best character. No, there you go. Yeah. And everyone thought she was terrible. And then in reality, she didn't even get buffed that much. Just people realized she was actually not terrible. Yeah, people dove deep enough to get the uh, yeah, get the, the tech Nakaruru and players, it out. The Nakaru players were just, like, doing enough stuff. People were like, wait a minute. That's kind of sick. What do you, what? How'd you do that? Yeah, but she's, I like, you know, she's that. very technical. You have to do, like, she had, like, safe jumps and stuff, but they're all very specific timing and based on different knockdowns or different strengths of the different knockdowns. Yeah, definitely a cool character. Um, oh, absolutely. I've played her a little bit since, like, they announced the rollback and stuff, but I don't remember a lot of the safe jumps and things. Mm -hmm. 
Um, she's one of those characters that you have had to, to really have, have to on stay attack. On top of, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I definitely did not. So that's why I guess you know at this point I just be playing. I've been playing her and Togetsu really. There you go. I uh, played a little bit of Kazuki when he came out, but uh, I wanted Gorilla Boy Kazuki from Five Special. Yeah, and he's not that. He's good in this game. He's very good. He's yeah, just yeah. not Mr. Unga Bunga Man. That's fair. Um, because he's actually the character I'm looking to try next. I think um, he my is, days of Hanzo are numbered. <laughs> I just don't think Hanzo's that good. No, he's really he not. Has, he has uh, none of the ninjas. Like, the ninjas just aren't that good in this game. Yeah. I think Honestly. Hanzo, he can be okay. He's, but the he's thing good enough to be like successful, right? Yeah. But it's hard. Yeah, I was playing against, uh, I don't recall his name, but I was playing against somebody from top eight at Frosty Costing, and he played Galford. And so it was an interesting matchup. Um, I, I also don't think Galford's that good either. No, but I think he's better than Hanzo. I do. I do think Galford's uh, the best ninja of the three. But I, I, I asked him, man, like, you got any pointers? And he just looks at me and he's like, Hanzo. Sucks. Well, he did say that. He's like, Hanzo, you got to work really hard. You got to get in, get out, yeah, know your so that, timings. That cross of overhead is pretty good. But, like, people can block it. They can see it. Yeah. Right. And I, if once I'll they're never, ready or conditioned yeah, for it, I'll never you're going to get murdered. My, uh, my first match in Evo Pools when this game first came out is like, I was watching people like play on the setup before the pool started. And you ever see that guy at the pool where you're like, I don't want to play that guy. That guy plays like a, a dumbass. Yeah. There was a Hanzo player, and I'm like, I don't want to play that guy. And he was my first match. Oh, no. And uh, <laughs> I owned him with Galford. Because oh. I was playing Galford and Nakaruru because Galford was top tier. And then Nakaruru was like, for whatever reason, my Nakaruru was sick. Nice. And uh, my game plan going into that tournament was. When I lose with Galford, switch to nice. And that was the only match of the tournament where I didn't lose with Galford. Oh, wow. Because I just steamrolled <laughs> this guy with Galford. Because all he did was just play like a dumbass. Well, do but it. he was like beating everyone on the casual station before the tournament started. <laughs> but Blue Thunder versus Viet Lu, the winner, the winner uh, AFK Con uh, rematch. Yeah, indeed. And that one was pretty close, back. if I remember. Uh, yeah, reset and then went to game five. So yep, yep. very evenly matched. Uh, yeah, and, and Blue puts in a lot of work with this Earthquake. You know, also, not considered a very strong character. Yeah, he's okay. I feel like the thing that's good about him is he's very simple. Ooh, big well, poster. and he takes advantage yeah. of people m making mistakes with auto guard. There's no auto guard in this game, right? Yeah. So you get hit by the multi-hitting move. His damage is just very low. Yeah, it's he's really not high. He's got to touch you a lot. He just does a decent job of keeping you out. Correct. And, like, he does have a decent command grab set up, right? But he does have to do it the long way. Nice overhead. Nice, yeah. Blue Thunder got him in guard touch essentially here, too. Mm -hmm. We just got to make sure we're out of range where we can capitalize off of it. Yeah, but Via Lu kind of speeding up the game plan. He's not letting him get any more uh, big heavy attacks into here. Yeah, Ooh. nice DP, nice, nice DP. DP. I said it earlier on commentary, right? DPs can be very powerful against Earthquake because you can really kind of keep him out of the air and not have to deal with the button stuff. Yeah. And unless he's got the spacing nice. ready. Nice confirm. Oh, okay, burst. I like this burst because we're up around. Absolutely. Vialu definitely likes to press his advantage when he's got it. And, oh, no weapons would be taken from Blue there. I would have liked to have seen that. Maybe he was worried he was going to run out before he could. Oh, oh and the guard crush with a barely a little bit of activation left. CC, and that's why I would have liked to let him move there. Yeah. Right, because then that couldn't happen. True, 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 true. You disarm her. Yeah, he was probably just out of piling, maybe a little too hard. They yeah, didn't see the opportunity. Or, or didn't see that they, they were like, oh, it's going to be out. And they weren't, they weren't ready for the little bit they had left. Yeah. More concerned at the timer for Shiki's activation <laughs> than their own rage meter. And this is a three out of five set. This is loser's finals. Yeah. Nice. Oh, we could have got a bigger punish there, but we take those. Nice block in the overhead. Ooh, oh, excellent my parry. God. SSDM was. Oh, I don't know. I don't know think about he, that. Didn't, I, he didn't need to rage. He didn't okay. need to rage to make right. it uh, safe, right? Yeah, I don't the think The SSDM that. was definitely too slow, but yeah. it's fine. We take those. Do it as a just in case, right? Oh, oh, you see it, you go, oh shit, and you just let her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just that, a that's panic fine. Burst. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> definitely trying to choose life. Nice oh command grab, very good. Yeah, he was ready for Chance it. at life for Shiki. <laughs> Overhead blocks. <laughs> Excellent reactions for Vialu. Yeah, he's ready for all these shenanigans. These players know these know each other fairly well. Yeah, they've played each other before in tournament. And they've gone. Nice <laughs> teleport. <laughs> the belly flop finishing the round. But no rage for Earthquake. Has to win another round the, the old fashioned way. Yeah, he's got. Still Even though a rage steep is, hill to is find a I very think. old fashioned mechanic in his hand show. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The buttons to check back. Butt blocked. No full confirm on the punish, though. No, I got a little bit, though. <laughs> Probably was Whoa. going for the interrupt. Didn't want to fully commit and get frame trapped. Yeah, because you got to guess how many buttons he's going to do. Yep. Oh, we have to teleport. Oh, interrupt to teleport, yeah. Okay, interesting. Nice oh parry. Oh, my God. I wonder if he tried to do SSDM and he didn't get it. 
Um, knowing Blue, oh, no, he, he likes to any air with it, so I don't think that was what he was going for. He also, um, I don't remember if you lose your SSDM after e sending, um, but the e send catches the jump. And that's going to be round two. Yep, because uh, Blue is a little too close there, right? You got to be far away to not get a as e send. Yeah. Well, and he's so floaty. He's probably one of the easiest characters to punish. Well, but but if, you're, if you're full screen, you can um, combo jump and avoid it. True. Yeah. True, true, true. And Blue, pretty good with the combo jumps, right? It's kind of part, a big part of his game plan. Yeah. Yeah, no, he's got the system. Oh, and I love this patience right now. I love this. This is so sick right now. Hold on. He's just like standing there. Like, look at this. Yeah, just staring him down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wasn't quite ready that time. Yeah, that was super far away. Oh, the stare down though. Look at how much life it had left. Only 40 seconds remain. Nice air-to-air -air timing. Oh, oh that's on the teleport yeah. again. Teleport. I mean, this is one of the reasons Earthquake not that strong, right? Yeah. He's just, his buttons are a little too slow and his The substitution well. not that good, right? Yeah. <laughs> but pr still even life right now. Pretty even. Yeah, I like how each player, as soon as they get a life lead, they're just completely backing They're just stand out. still. Yeah. Oh, Blue was trying to be ready for it, but the timing. Oh, and that bait was so crazy. Ooh, Empty jump nice throw. throw. Puts it back into the corner. Life lead here for Blue Thunder. Just barely, though. 18 hit seconds. Should. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. It's like each hit gives the other one a little bit of life lead. Oh, was ready for the recoil cancel. 13 seconds remain. Yeah. Yeah. I love the the blue so right now. Oh, no. Oh, that had to be a mistake. No. That had to be a mistake. Five seconds, Shiki's gonna run away. Air to air um, for Shiki. He's to find something. Three. Taking his moments well. Oh, Teleports. That be it. Yeah, that's it. And this is a three out of five set. So Blue has one less, or one more life, excuse me. Uh, Via Lu in the clutch, he's just, he's so good at the clutch right there, right? Yeah. Well, and he's picking his moments insanely yeah. well. And Blue made so many good decisions to really take the advantage back with a little bit of time left. Then Viet Lu's like, and I stole it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he snatched it. He's ready every time. Oh, going to select. To select. I, I know Blue has a couple characters, but I like the I like the earthquake. Yeah, I know he messes around with a uh, Ryu is on or Blue. Yeah, Blue Ryu. sucks. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he. What? No way. No, 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 no way. He's just he's just checking something. Checking the notes. Checking the tapes. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think yeah, he just bumped it while he was like checking the checking the tapes. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, they are next to each other on this screen. Yeah, he just fact. bumped it. He just bumped it. Checking the tape, checking the notes. Huh, what, what went down last time we played? Oh, yeah, he had to play Mina to beat me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he played Mina at AFK Con, Vietlu, right? Uh, he played Mina and Shiki. He mainly played Mina for most of the tournament. Okay, okay. And I, I don't remember what the end result was. I, I want to mirror. I want to say in the. Uh, no, 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 no. What? There's no way, right? No way. Yeah, okay. he was just, right. he was just hitting the button. Just thinking, stalling yeah, a little bit. Yeah, thinking, yeah, hitting button back out, hitting button back out, right? One thing I will say, too, about this matchup, both players are playing insanely more patient. I feel like Blue Thunder is following Viet Lu's lead because Viet Lu has really been doing that for the last, you know, two, three well, matches that we've seen. And the way um, Blue typically, you know, plays Earthquake against less proficient players, he just kind of like jumps at you with jump heavy. Yeah, just Lu's already proven that he can handle that, which is why Blue Thunder, just, he's just slowing it down, because that's what you have to do against a, a player that's that solid, right? Yeah. He's not Ooh. falling for any of the shenanigans. Oh, and oh, man. Yeah, Vietlu's starting to get these air to airs, right? And a big part of Earthquake's game is the air to air game, and the timing is just so good. Empty jump throw, I like it. Ooh, cross him up just enough to get the button to go the wrong Throw right. again, I like it. Using the run forward that time, then the butt. <laughs> Excellent timing there for Blue Thunder. Huge life advantage. Oh no, oh, spot dodge. No. Rage and play for Shiki. That little fake out is pretty neat. Ooh. I love that Blue's oh. running forward. And here you get the weapon yeah. flipping technique. Is that gonna, no. Nice, like it. One more hit though, maybe. Disarmed. But. One Still doesn't have a weapon. Okay, she'll get it back. <laughs> nice of aid. There it is. I love that Blue is just he's just staying grounded more. Running forward, right? Yeah. Because you can't to be ready for both. Blocks as much as possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you commit to the big air to air. Oh, nice punish here with the weapon flipping technique. But if you commit Wonderful. to the big air to air, then Blue Thunder can punish you on the way down. Yeah, absolutely. But this is scary for Earthquake. Really okay, he scary. got the weapon back. weapon back, but he's got a whole big hill to climb. He has a weapon flippy tank yeah. available for their own. Yeah, but Earthquakes goes down so quick. Yeah, he doesn't crazy. It'll have to happen to be able to use it. 
Uh oh. Getting down to one hit territory for Shiki here. Yep, yep. Nice timing. Maybe just use this to try to gain some data. He was showing maybe a little bit of nerves here. He's starting to go in more, even with the massive light played. Maybe he's just getting tired and wants to end it. Yeah, Lou. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Like, when, when you're this far up and they like, lose the rage, like I feel like you can use that to set a statement, right? Yeah, absolutely. You use, you're using it as time to set the pace. I'm turning it up because I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, right? 100%. As and I think to, that might be some of the mental game that, that is trying to incorporate game, right? here. You know? Oh, that reset. Instead of. Instead of, oh my god, we're both we're both good players, so we're afraid of each other. We're scared. We're too scared to take risks. It's no, I am no longer afraid of you, right? Yeah. We saw it in the uh, earlier set with yeah. that intent where Blue said, I don't scare. Uh oh, nice Ooh. confirm off the jump, and that is hard to do. Yeah, and that's a lot of damage. Uh huh, uh huh. Nice catch. Ooh. Ooh. Nice throw here, web throw. Rage okay. is spent. Very smart use of the, of the activation. Both players activated. Earthquake has more bar. Ooh, that jump is scary. Oh, that jump is scary. Combo jumping, effectively. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I appreciate uh, the attempt, but. He was trying to bait it. He was trying yeah, to bait it. Yeah, 100%. But Shiki runs really fast. Yeah, it's hard to hard to do that. So I feel like he jumped one too many times. Absolutely. Right? If he had, like, waited, or like, like a jab, Viet Lu might have still bit, and then he would have been okay. Yeah. Right? But he jumped one too many times. Or if he could have, like, stayed in the air a little longer, like, jumped, and then, like, did, like, the butt to delay it or something, maybe that would have worked. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Only so much you can do, though, right? Yeah, it's 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 once Viet Lu took the run forward, that extra jump now became deadly. Yeah. But here <laughs> we go, Viet Lu versus Bad Intent, the rematch. Yeah, and we made it all the way to our grand finals. Yeah, and Blue Thunder almost killed Bad Intent. Yeah. It was that was a, that was a super duper duper close winners final. Yeah, he was up two one at one point, wasn't he? Yeah, it was until the until the bike and switch. The bike and oh, switch. Yeah, it was so. was tough. He had a couple chances to win it, but it wasn't able to seal the deal. Yeah. I I wonder if. Blue Thunder has enough matchup experience with Against Viking. Against Yeah. Probably not as much. He definitely had a very good plan for the Charlotte. Yeah. Was well, very classic, yeah. you know, poke character in this game. Been widely played since launch. Yep, well, yep. at least originally. These days, I feel like most people play uh, Hibiki over Charlotte. But Oh, for that same type of plan? Yeah. Because Hibiki just does just almost better. everything yeah. that Charlotte does, but, but better. But Charlotte got nerfed. Because when the game first came out, Charlotte was pretty. Oh, she was really good. Yeah, her overhead was plus on hit, which is pretty egregious. <laughs> It was like plus three on hit or something. It was stupid. Damn. That's crazy. You know, Shia players like my footsies as they just do 50 50s, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Whatever works, right? Yep, yep. But mm. Viet, Viet Lu taking a step oh. back before getting into grand finals, you know? You know, and I do. It is interesting. He hasn't dropped a game, I believe, since he's gotten on stream. Via Lu? Via Lu. Well, I mean, except for when he got bodied by the Char by Bad and Test Charlotte. Well, in, the, in this loser's run. He hasn't oh, dropped yeah, a game dropped yet. Game, right? And I wonder if that spells he, ill for Bad Intent. What he, you know? uh, I mean, just the way he's been playing since the loss to Bad Intent has been a lot crisper. The movement's been a lot faster. Yeah. Um, where against Bad Intent, it just look, just didn't look like normal Viet Lu play. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm curious if that's just like because they know each other and it was like a, the meta was too many layers deep or just, you know, feeling not on it at that moment, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is definitely a game where you got to, you know, if you're, if you're feeling a little off, it could be hard. Oh, absolutely, yeah. If you're just a tiny hair off, then all your punishes now become you getting punished. Yep, yep. Wasting resources. Yep. All kinds of stuff. You don't get no hit confirms anymore. Yeah. Your frame traps no longer work. You just become Big Sag. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, I feel like that's one of the saddest things doing and playing this game is, you know, you have a game plan and you want to execute it. But uh, just you're a hair off on everything you try to do. And it's like, oh, I went for this, and it would have hit, but I messed up my input. Yep. Or yep. I did the wrong input. You know? Yeah, that was part of the struggle with Nakaruru, because, you know, she has the, uh, the slide versus the DP thing. Yeah. So one of them is uh, is reverse quarter circle, so it's back, down, back, down. Mm -hmm. And the other one is, is uh, quarter circle forward. Oh, wow. So if you're not careful and you go yeah, too so far. Yeah, so you have to be very clean with how you do those inputs. Uh, yeah, the input buffering in the system in this game is actually very interesting. Like it's I found SNK that input buffer. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. But yeah, DP forward, you can get running DP. Correct. No problem. That's a, that's but when, an SNK game thing. When you yeah. do DP backwards, you have to be you have to make sure you end that diagonal. Yep. You know. And the reason it is that is because like you know in various SNK games, the DP forward is pretty lenient, so that you can do shortcuts. Uh -huh. So uh, Kyo and KOF is to do DP into a Rochinagi. Yeah. So DP is a DP obviously, and then a Rochinagi is um, quarter circle back or quarter circle forward, half circle back. 
We have to cancel the DP immediately. Huh. First hit. How okay. would you do that? You wouldn't. <laughs> Unless you had a shortcut. Yeah, and the shortcut is you have to go back forward for the DP. Ah, and that gives you the... Okay. And then you just do course of forward after that. So you have to go back forward, course of forward gives you... The <laughs> right. right, and that's why the input buffer is that way, is it, is it enables those types of shortcuts. Whoa, which enables some of the ham tam. Interesting choice. I know I said he had a deep character pool, but I wasn't expecting this. Yeah, I wonder if it's just he really doesn't like the Charlotte matchup. Also, there's Tam Tam, you know, currently not doing too much. Tam Tam, when the game first came out, the, he was considered very strong, but then he fell off really quickly as people yeah. got to get used to the game. Well, and there's been a lot of more zoners that have been added, and I feel like they do uh, a better job than Tam Tam. Yeah, it's just, you know, Tam Tam was very gimmicky when the game first came out, right? Yeah. I think he still can be strong, but he's he just so straightforward is his main issue. Yeah, and I just, I don't know, I feel like we've been seeing the Shiki, but who knows? He at least likes something about it. I and do like the movement, though. a lot though. of characters here, too. Yeah, he's doing well of keeping this kind of wall up. Here are my buttons. You've got to deal with them. Mm -hmm, but Charlotte does have the life lead right now. But we are getting those little hits with the, with the Uku Booga skulls. Yeah, those are Ooh, with punish. Him. That was a nice whip punish there. He was ready. That far medium slash for Tam Tam, immaculate button. Yeah. Nice. Ooh, Uses nice. the low. DP oh, baby. that should be dead. Yep, there it is. First round of Vialu. All right, so, you know, so far the Tam Tam paying off. Just barely, though. That easily hey. could have gone either way. Could have gone either way, but so far, so good. Nice defensive throw. Nice timings. Vialu being in more of his face this time, too. It's kind of changing up the game plan from round one to round two. Well, I think that was just because the opportunity presented itself, because now we're seeing the back off again, right? Yeah. It's like, ah, you did something unsafe, so now I'm in your face and telling us. What did Whip put us on that air? Oh, my God. I mean, Charlotte jump A is disgusting. What a filthy run. Every fencing character's jump A is stupid in every game. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like as it should be. I mean, you ever seen Mitsuru in Persona or BB Tag? Okay, grab, very nice. Oh, and that's going to seal it. First yep, game yep. Continuing the undefeated run at loser side. Yep, yep. Yeah, Mid Blue got close, but didn't get a game, right? Correct, correct. And Character he, select. I think we're going to see the Biken. Probably. The He's been putting in work for him. Yep, yep. Vialu looks a little more uh, calm and collected, too, I got to say. Biking. Yep, there's the Biken. I'm, I mean, it's so cool that they put her in this game. She does fit in the game very well. Oh, She's absolutely. She's just a little strong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But I mean, to be fair, this Sam Show game is a little more balanced than some previous iterations. I don't oh, know if you've absolutely. played Five Special. I've heard the story. There is this character <laughs> named Cusigaretto, and uh, he is the epitome of anti fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, he can has a command dash that's invincible, and he can car this command dash into a command grab that just kills him. Okay. If he is in range, right. it's like 100% to like more than half the cast. Wow, that's insane. And it's invincible, and it goes like. What More a than thirty firm there to start yeah, things out. Yeah, the fact that Bike gets a juggle combo is kind of ridiculous, right? Off yeah. the Tom Gaishi. But Viet Lu feeling out, nice jump over the claw. Oh, I love that run on That was so sick. Yeah, that was perfect timing on that. Uh, yep, nice yep. punish on the jump in. Messing up, changing up the skulls, <laughs> changing up the skulls. And I think maybe it's because you know we don't see much Tam Tam, so maybe it's uh, screwing up bad intense game plan on the fireballs, right? Yeah, and he switches characters, right? So he's kind of got to re Changes the jump arc. Yep. yep, Charlotte's jump arc, not very, it's pretty shallow, right? Ooh, nice Charlotte does not jump that far forward. Okay, trades. Big trade, kind of goes in back. Tam Tam's favor. I love that fireball there, that was sick. Nice timing on the air, jump back. So this Tam Tam paying dividends oh, right now. Oh, just barely got over the skull there. Yeah, but still life in one hit territory. Still life lead here for Viet Lu. 20 seconds remain. No challenge into the recoil, no challenge into the recoil. Oh, that was a potentially a big oh. win. The run-up weight was so sick. Yeah, I thought he was going to go for grab I thought there, he was going to go for grab as well. He, didn't, he did not, and that was perfectly timed. Oh, all highs on the coconuts. Okay. Ten seconds remain. Oh Face my forces the win. Yeah, that was beautiful. Viet Lu showing mastery of spacing right now. This Tam Tam right now is, is sick. Yeah, I, I had my doubts, but he clearly knows what he's clearly doing. Clearly had a plan, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that run-up weight was so sick. And it was like, it would have been like outside of throw range too, though the range they stopped at. Yeah. Running up and Trying stopping at the proper range of this game is, is surprisingly challenging. Oh yeah, absolutely. But when you do it, you're rewarded so handsomely. Absolutely. It can be hard though sometimes. Sometimes you want your running attack and then you don't get it and it's oh, Or, or you want to run stop and you don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to like run stop button and you get running attack and you're sad. Yeah. And you know, bad intent really relying on that, uh, that down heavy slash from Biken, right? 
Viet Lu not really falling for it. Yeah, he's spacing it out perfectly. Not uh -huh, really uh -huh. able to get a big width punish. Oh, as I say that. Well, no, I mean, that's a block punish, though, <laughs> but, but oh, it's still not punish, much. Punish. It's very hard to punish that normal. Yeah, absolutely. Nice medium flash here from Viet Lu. Look at this life lead right now. Just literally just saying, no, 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 no. I, am, I am the best. Deal yeah, with it. Absolutely. And he's doing a great job of uh, not relying on any one gimmick that Tam Tam does. He's just playing pure spacing. Yep, and, 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 and it's the, his movement is so fast. Right, Tam Tam not known for being fast. No, no. But Viet Lu making him look fast. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and at the moments when he jumps up with his floaty jump, he's putting that ball out and keeping, keeping biking out. Yeah, and it's a very nice timing every time. You see how his delay timing there? Yeah. And it's really making Biken scared to push buttons on the approach, like of the of the Tam Tam with the deceptive move. Yeah, I feel like Bad Intense trying to find some option here to get through Viet Lu's game plan, but uh, hasn't found it yet. Yeah, struggling to do so. Ooh, that could have been something after the the heavy slash, but didn't really use that as an opportunity to move in. Nice Ooh, air to air. Air. Ooh. Okay. Oh, oh and gets Tam Tam out of the corner. Have all this real estate to work with again. Nice. Back now he just backs up. Yeah. yeah, he's not afraid. Work me to the corner. It's fine. I'll escape. That's literally what Vialu says. You'll put me in the corner. I'll leave. It's cool. Yeah, he's, he's so good at picking his moments to fight out of that corner when he needs to. Mm -hmm. And Bad Intent just can't seem to find an answer. Yeah, and you know, Biker can still do TK Yozansen in this game, right? Oh, absolutely. I want to see some of that maybe, right? So you see some of the actual, like, enforce a 50 50, see if that works. Oh no, Boy. did not auto guard the last hit. Could be all she wrote here if we get some chip damage or any Ooh. normal. Throw. We have a flipping technique. Tam Tam's alive. And there's only seven seconds left. Can go for his weapon. Back oh! Dash. Oh! That, was that was sweet. Beautiful. That was sweet. We might be looking at a quick reset. reset. Yeah. Yep. Tam Tam enraged. Oh, nice air to air. Oh, nice okay, dodge. spot dodge. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, max it, range though. on the down heavy. Very nice. Okay. So float. Biken now has rage available, but not for much longer. Wow. Don't win. Every single one of these foot spins are just like perfectly timed, perfectly spaced. Yeah, by the Tam Tam loop. backwards DP, whack kicks. Yeah. Uh -oh. uh, interesting move. Yeah, there. trying to force it, right? Oh, oh bravery. Wow. That is a quick reset. Bad intent that looking at the sky really going, quick. God damn, am I about to get Lord Knighted? <laughs> Could happen to you. It's oh happened to no. me before. <laughs> yeah. I know I've been in that situation. Grand Finals, winner side gets 6 0 Oh, it's brutal. It's brutal. brutal. Definitely brutal. <laughs> been there, done that. <laughs> One of those nightmares you never want to relive. I mean, it's definitely happened more than once. No, you hate to see it. There was many a Soul Calibur tournament. I was Grand Finals winner side and then lost. Soul Calibur 6? Yeah, back when it first came out. Oh, wow. I didn't yeah. know you played that game. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I did really well that game when it first came out. Nice. I got top eight of the major ones. <laughs> wow, there yeah. you go. Played a character everyone said was bad, and it turns out they weren't bad. Once again, Mustang was right. <laughs> Mustang was right. Hashtag. Yeah, man. The number of times people like that don't play the character I'm playing be like, nah, your character sucks, don't play him. I'm like, I think there's some stuff here. What about A, B, C, D, E, and F? And they're like, nah, your character blows. And then I was right. Turns out the character was really good. <laughs> you love to see it. Yeah. Man, these guys trading blows at max range. Yeah, and, and bad intent bad finally taking yeah. a life lead here. Correct, right? Yeah. Bad intent changed the pacing drastically. Ooh, that's gonna that's catch. That's gonna catch. And yep. <laughs> oh my Very God. nice. That is just now the almost pacing reason. Oh no, now the sword is far away from Viking. Oh, that neutral jump was like, no, you don't, you don't get it. You don't get your sword. Stay over there, right? Yeah, no, no sword yeah, for you. Yeah, he's playing. Look at how well he's protecting it. Oh. Oh, oh is that I, too far to punish? If Bad Intent ran like a, like a pixel further forward, the sword could have been put off the screen. Yeah. Oh, that run up throw. Okay. <gasps> so Viet Lu was never going for the throw, right? And then the one time he hit, Viking evades. Yeah, Viking was ready. Okay, first round for Bad Intent. And this is after the reset. It is hard to win two sets in Grand Finals. Absolutely. And that round was almost a mirror image, minus the characters, of game one of the last set. Vialu just barely eking it out with no with no help left. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if we're going to see a deja vu just with the roles reversed. Well, and, you know, if Bad Intent adapts well to the Tam Tam, Vialu could change it up. Okay, run, run up the throw. 
was 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 went for again. So that's two run up throws in a row after not doing it like six times in the before the reset. Yeah. I kind of like him changing up his options, but at the same time, when it's not the working, you got to re. But I mean, it worked that time, right? True. True. It what it doesn't work once. It's just the get risk or reward in this game is, is huge. Ooh. Oh my God, it's gonna catch. No, no, not the back far. dash. Back dash recovers oh, in time. Yeah, SSDM. He's dead. Oh my god. Ooh. That was that was sick. The SSDM for all the damages. Go men. Go men. Such a sick screen. Oh, oh my god. Spiken says, be gone, foul gear. <laughs> you murdered my people. Now I'll murder you. Alright, bad set, bad intent, showing signs of life. Hovering mm -hmm. like the elite thinking. I 100% agree with this. Ice them a little bit. Maybe there's a matchup you want to try. Yeah, go through your change. characters in your brain, right? The yeah. Tam Tam switch got you to the reset, right? So maybe you got another character you can give him the Okie Doke with, but nope, locks in with the Tam Tam. He does have one more life to play with, so maybe he tries this out and goes back to Shiki or, or somebody, somebody else, else, right? Yeah. yeah. You mentioned a deep character pool. I, we've seen the Mina at AFK Con. Yeah. I feel like that'd be a decent matchup for for Viking, yeah. or for against for the Viking. Yeah, yeah, against the Viking. Mina was a character I hated in Five Special. I don't mind her that much in this game. Yeah, she's not too bad, but she's. I'd say she's still pretty strong. She was way cheesier in Five Special. Mm, she also fair. died in one hit. She doesn't die in this. She has better defense in this game, at least like health wise. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that little little run stop is so sick. Ooh, no punish. Okay, look for the fireball. Didn't get it. Oh no, anti air this time. Still trying to catch him with these fireballs. Mm -hmm. Rage still is available for Tam Tam. Nope, it's gone. Guard break on on deck, especially for Via Lu. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta get it. You gotta get the hits. You yeah. gotta get the blocks, right? They gotta make them block. Nice evasion here. Oh, and uh -oh. back again. Not enough though. Those were light attacks, medium attacks. True, true, true. Oh, oh no, that was that was went for it. Yeah, yep. Ooh, that was scary situation. No oh, punish. Big block. Nice. Uses the throw for the easy punish. Gets the combo in the juggle. Tam Tam oh, life, but not much time left. Not enough time to win. Catches the roll tech. Round one of game two. Going yeah, to Viking. You know, reminder, when you attack roll, you go up your throw invincibility, right? Absolutely. Oh, too oh, far for the combo. No. Not much of a punish, though, for Viking. Yeah, but it sucks because you don't get the knockdown anymore. You do damage to the table. That's true. Yeah, just go back to playing the footsie games. Swinging oh, back throw. Miss the juggle. Ooh, miss on the juggle, yeah. <laughs> nice. Good timing on that. Nice timing there. I swear a throw was coming. That's why I can jump back. Yeah, I'm always expecting throw when a character runs up like that. <laughs> Especially in Rage Art. Yeah, with Rage available, yep, yep. Nice air to air. That's the first air to air sequence Viet lose one in a while. Because all air to airs were going their way before the reset, right? So. Yeah. Starting to get some uh, momentum back in this department. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Playing a lot more patient than he was the last couple of rounds. But getting worked into the corner, he was a lot more evasive prior to the, the bracket reset. Nice back dash there. <laughs> One more hit should do it. Oh, the wrong fireball. I thought there was going to be a back dash. Ooh, oh, no. God. Full combo. Oh, caught him. Caught the back dash. Oh, 2-0 after the reset. All right, what do you do if you're Via Lu? What do you do? Uh, you go back to character select. Whether you, you actually character change characters or not is another question. You think about it. You think question, about it. But, yeah, you think about it. Maybe you go over the pages, hover over some characters. Maybe that you knock a Ruru. -ru. What? Oh my God. So yeah, I, I used to play this character, so I, I, I know some things. Um, she's got some good got buttons, stuff. I think. I think she, bike, I I think she is strong. Yeah, absolutely. Um, she has the fastest weapon, flip, weapon flipping technique in the game. Six frames. Wow. Punishes an absurd amount of stuff. Yeah, it's like a bunch of normal stuff. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah, just punishes stuff. Um, her 5B doesn't go that far, but it's extremely fast, for, and the range it goes for how fast it is is insane. And that, you can option select take confirm it. It's literally an option select take confirm. Wow. Like, so you, you should theoretically never miss, because it is it is an option select. Because the recoil cancel timing is later, so you can always get the slide on hit, or on block, you can always go for Mahamama or the bird flip, because the timing is a little different. That throw is very risky, I do not like it. Yeah, a little too formulaic. Bad intent, read it before he even went for the throw. Mm -hmm. All right, trying to use the bird flip to create some deception. Yeah, he's trying to scare Ben with his option nice. here. Oh, nice punish. 
Yeah, That's what I was expecting for Vialu to go through. I think those dive and the, the dive the can be one. very good. It's just very scary. Yeah. Kara, that's Kara Mahamama. So you can Kara Mahamama off a lot of stuff, and it makes him go further. That normal's insane. Jump down kick, insane. Yeah. Just the damage on it's not very good. Slide blocked. Right, you see, there was the, the recall cancel OS, right? Flipped onto the bird on block. Oh, no. Oh, the Tommy guy should save. What? Okay. The weapon flipping technique is available. No. Uh, he committed. That round. Yep, there it is. Yeah, Vialu going for some really risky options. Trying yeah. to call things out, and it's not working out for him. Tournament point for bad intent. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, looked for a jump out. Didn't didn't get it. <laughs> the rolls are reversed. Bad intent's the one now putting up the wall. To, yeah, yeah to putting up the 3-0 right around. now so far. Yeah, absolutely. Only guy Mahamama. These perfect blocks too by bad intent have been nice. really good. What? Uh, I don't like that okay. at all. Miss input, maybe? Oh yeah. my god, okay. It's not gonna do that much damage, though. Shinagaru is pretty hell. Oh, okay, these, 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 these. But now you don't have rage anymore. And we mentioned one of Nagaru's strengths is the weapon flipping technique is insane. Now yeah. you just don't have access to it anymore. Yeah, definitely a lot less threatening now. Ooh, good with punish. Also, the uh, multi hitting slide, very strong while she's enraged. Yeah. And it, it creates better move. knockdown situations for her. Yes, I'm nice. Oh, not able to punish that, that throw. One cross under into the weapon Isen, or excuse me. Um, Bialu just kind of struggling to get anything going. I mean, still has the life lead, though. True. Oh, Can that's you keep it so for scary. 20 seconds? Oh, jump over on the overhead. Alive. Full We're combo. living, though. We're living. Yeah. One more combo like that, though, and that's going to be tournament. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this. Yeah, just back off. You got about 10 seconds left. Yup, yup. Got a stall. No nice. reason. Ooh, so finally catches the Nakaruru, ball. you know how most characters that are running normals are they don't recoil cancel. Yeah. Nakaruru's so running A does, and it looks oh. it's like that far jab, that little like scoot scoot stab. That's the running A. It's wow. very good, very good. But Yelu still has to do this the hard way with the Nakaruru right now. No rage. Yeah. Overhead. He's doing a good job though. Challenging yeah, do, him in the air. Doing the right things, just doesn't have rage available, so there's not the burst damage option, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Slide blocked. The rate these last couple nice. matches have gone, or last couple of rounds, um, would be Elu's gonna need about 15 hits to, to seal this one. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, needs to find someone to get some more damage on the table, because right now, Viking's winning the damage war. Nice block, but no cancel! Woo! Up. Yeah, a zombie was used, but no follow-up. Nice bird nice. dive. I love that from Vialu, too, because Bad Intent was doing a good job of interrupting Nakaru on the bird, um, but Vialu was ready that time, to punish it. Time is the, is the issue, and the damage output just isn't there right now. Yeah, he's going to get something big here. Okay. Yeah, not a lot of time left. And Bad Intent just not biting on anything. 10 seconds. Not enough time. Do we have yeah, an SSDM? I think this is it. We have to do something. Bad Intent's not going to give it to him. He's not going to do anything risky. No, he's enough not going to do anything at all. 5, 4, 3. Yep, there yep, it is. Up. Bad Intent takes wow. it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> what an adaption going from the first set of grand finals into the reset. Yeah. Just completely slowing that it down, shutting down the Tam The Nakuru almost paying off, but I mean, not having rage was critical there, right? Because yeah. some of those hits could have been weapon flipping techniques in that final round, which would have meant Nagaru could have been winning oh, at the end of the timer there, or or, or dead Viking, right? Like, yeah, but then when you're out of the rage, she doesn't do the damage. Because yeah. she gets rage very quickly. It runs out quickly, but she gets it quickly. Yeah. Because she's, uh, you know, a sad nature spirit girl. <laughs> little, yeah, she's little very, girl. She's very sad. She doesn't like war. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. I respect it. She's got a hot, hey, you I mean, know? When, when, the, when the game came out, they were like, we wanted to make, we were, in a lot of our media, Nakaru has been looking too happy. <laughs> um, but she's a little girl who has to fight in war, so she's actually very sad. So we made a point to make her look sad again <laughs> no. in the new Sam show. That's incredible. Yeah, because, I mean, if you were a you know, 15, 16-year-old girl who just wants to hang out with the animals, you had to go to war and murder people, um, you wouldn't be very happy either. No, that'd be a miserable existence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so Nagaru is not the happiest camper. Absolutely. But I think King of Fighters, well, what's up What's up next on this stream? Uh, King of Fighters is going to be over there. King of Fighters is over there. Next over here is going to be DNF Duel, DNF if Duel. I All remember right. correctly. Top four. Top four. Top four. All right, Top four DNF Duel coming up over here. Being a little um, bit, right? 
And then after that, uh, we got Tekken starting shortly after six, maybe seven. Okay, okay, in that cool. Ballpark. So, man. Well, you can catch me later on the King of Fighters stream. Um, I just need to eat something before I can be over there. Because <laughs> yeah. I am real hungry. That's fair. Um, and uh, are you commentating anything else? Are you done for no, the day? No, man. This is my one passion. This is the only game I you're, you're done for the day? like to commentate. Well, I got some TO things to do. Okay, but, okay. But you know, catch me on Twitter talking about <laughs> how much I love Sam Show. All right. We are, uh, so we're signing off. You guys have, have a good one, guys.